The age old debate, Fox or RockShox? Here is the short answer guys, Fox has better peak performance, but there's a lot more to riding than peak performance. We are going to cover the key areas of mountain bike suspension, trail performance on a variety of terrain, costs of ownership, long term serviceability and investment, setting these suspensions up and much more. 2023 Super Deluxe Ultimate, 2024 Factory Float X, forks on hand we got the legendary Fox 36 and a select plus lyric. Yes, it's not an ultimate but it has the Charger 3 damper, that's what really matters. The damper is essentially the brains of the fork. The old Lyric had a bladder style damper that was eh. IFP damper in the new Lyric is similar in architecture to Fox. First on the chopping block, we're going straight to a trail center with the top tier forks. Both the 36 Factory and the Lyric are both 160 millimeters, effectively understroking my bike 20 millimeters, so it will be an awesome test on these dampers mid stroke support. First up, let's take a look at the RockShox suspension. The trail is a 1,000 foot descent that starts off technical and rocky, and then it turns into a mellow blue flow trail. Okay, hey, this is RockShox Run 1. Promising start on the Lyric. Man, this suspension has so much pop. That RockShox Lyric is like nothing they've ever made before. As for the Super Deluxe, I forgot about it at this point. Nothing special to report, but it is slightly improved from previous models. As we move down the trail, slow speed technical riding is excellent on the RockShox suspension. Slowly testing the waters on the new Lyric, here's a nice patch of rocks. I'm gonna head straight into it and test its rigidity. <laughs> a fast moving fork like the Lyric is going to have less traction over rough terrain. For more evidence, here's some other clips of the fork bouncing off rough terrain. For all you haters out there, I went ahead and slowed the rebound down and it did not fix the issue. Plus, I spent a long time tuning this fork before this ride. Now it's possible if you're an excellent rider, you can make up the shortcomings of the Lyric and its lack of traction. While riding technical trails, the arm pump is nearly unbearable. Oh, you don't know the power of the dark side. Oh, you're bouncing. Bounce. Oh. Bouncing off rocks requires precise line joints that's not available to this rider. Part of me prefers the old Lyric. Reporting on the Super Deluxe, definitely a lackluster experience. Admittedly, this is an off the shelf shock. Could potentially be more enjoyable with a custom tune that RockShock offers. With the addition of high and low speed compression to the Super Deluxe Ultimate, you would think it would make it a better shock, but it absolutely does not. The 23 Super Deluxe using the same parts as the 2021 Trek through shaft Super Deluxe. The new Super Deluxe is not new. The Super Deluxe has an excellent track record as far as reliability. Absolutely, absolutely terrifying on the Lyric. Feels like a basketball over the bumps. Okay, the lyrics should do a lot better here because this is like a blue jump slow trail. It already feels good. Further down the tree, we got some mellow terrain. A couple berms and bumps later, the rock shock is beginning to impress. Can we have our doubts here after what just happened on the upper nodes of this tree? First thing to note, both front and rear suspension platforms of the rock shock are excellent when jumping. My four foot high jumps had perfect preload and execution on landing, which is not normal for my C plus riding skills. As the trail opens up into higher speed, one glowing thing sticks out to me. This fork and suspension is really chattery. Arm pump and body fatigue can become prevalent due to the progressive nature. Meaning it's super hard to press down. I mean, zero tokens, zero compression. I'm like, what is this for Red Bull Rampage on my cross country fork? There is a massive benefit to this type of suspension. The Lyric, what it does good, it does excellent. And what it does bad, it does horrible. It's really fast. It allows the rider to push off the terrain and generate forward momentum. The fast acting rebound that bounced off the rocks earlier, yeah, it's amazing on these smooth trails. Getting to the bottom of the trail, it's time to switch it up and put some Fox suspension on the bike. 
Damn it, the fork doesn't fit. Let's make some lemonade out of those bike lemons. Rock Shock Lyric, Fox Float X. Let's try that mix suspension everyone questions. Dropping into this mellow trail with the mix suspension, Float X on the back and the Lyric, finding the bike to be more confident almost right away. The Super Deluxe and its off the shelf tune may be the weak link in the Rock Shock suspension. Basically, the 36 steer tube was too short for my bike, but if you buy this DMR stem with a 25 millimeter stack height, it's a game changer and a lifesaver. Back to the top of the trail with the full Fox setup. Go. Dropping in on the Fox suspension, same set of trails as the Lyric, 1,000 foot descent. Entry of the trail is not feeling as lively as the lighter duty RockShox suspension. Slow speed technical riding is arguably about the same, maybe a little less responsive on Fox. We are splitting hairs here. Vividly remembering this rocky patch and about falling off my bike, I went straight for it on the Fox. Fox suspension is much better at absorbing rocky terrain. And this feels like a mini 38 and way more confident. Continuing down the trail, the Fox Float X is providing a solid amount of traction in these rock gardens. A little bit of arm pump. The Fox suspension arm pump is noticeably less on the descents. Not completely eliminated, but less. Keep in mind the Lyric Select Plus without Buttercup. So it's possible if you have an ultimate, they could be tied. And it makes more noise. That's the compromise. Blue flow trail part of this trail. Swooping through a couple berms, it feels good. A couple jumps later, I realized the Lyric and the Super Deluxe were better on this. My jumps were back to their characteristic mistimed preload and occasional dead sailor. Pushing through the Fox suspension is easier, but does not net the same results as RockShock as far as forward momentum. An occasional washed out berm trail and rut will leave you smiling with Fox since it's a beefier suspension platform that feels more confident. The 36 does everything pretty darn good. Not having the time to fully set up the Fox suspension was really starting to show its bad side. I would be lying to you if I said this fork was easy to set up. You need to pick your poison. Do you want easy up front and hard later? Open this fork up to tune it. Or do you want hard up front and easier later? As the trail tapers out, the 36 became a dud. There's a massive advantage with the Lyric. You don't need to ride technical terrain or aggressively to make the trail or the bike come to life. I'm gonna read you part of this comment, but pause there if you wanna read the whole comment. <laughs> a Pike Ultimate with buttercups and lawsuit valves when professionally set up will still be inferior to a five-year-old Fox 36 rhythm that's unserviced. Now it's time to see if a Fox 36 unserviced rides better than a Lyric. The 36 having the correct travel for my bike, I'll do my best to be a fair judge. Giving credit where credit's due, the Charger 3 damper is very good. Problem with this fork, it's too progressive. The Lyric is undeniably amazing fun on blue flow trails and jumping, but it can feel like a pogo stick when you do not want it to. Slower moving and more predictable. I would describe the Fox 36 as an old Toyota 4Runner. Capable of absolutely anything, but not particularly good at one single thing. Let me explain why the Fox 36 rhythm and all grip dampers are so good. The damper's like the brain of the forks. It's arguably the most important, even though the air shaft is important. That's why I hate RockShock products. The grip damper has the same architecture as the grip two damper. That's why the rhythm feels like such a good fork. This has definitely been the best bang for the buck so far. If you're an average rider, I would go for the 36. What the two months has taught me is the shock is more important than a fork. If you get a beater Fox 36 rhythm paired up with a Fox Float X2, it's a way better combo than a Fox 38 with a Super Deluxe. Your shock does two thirds more work than your fork because all the weight is on the back. Just in case you're a baller on a budget, I'm gonna take a look at the two budget all mountain forks from RockShock and Fox. Heading deep into the wilderness. 
Welcome to Mount Adams. We're doing the all mountain backcountry test. You know, pounding downhill lines is awesome, but it's like hooking up with a chick. You're always gonna need another one. Backcountry, all day, all mountain. It's like an everlasting relationship. It gets better with age. First on the chopping block, we got the Fox 36 Rhythm, 180 millimeters, Fox Flodex Factory, 230 by 65. Yari's also 180 millimeters, but it's got a charger, the fancy charger damper. The RockShock Yari is the budget version of the RockShock Lyric. If you upgrade the damper, it's basically the same as an old Lyric. 180 millimeter downhill Kinevo is not the ideal bike for all mountain testing, but it definitely does the job. No idea what this trail's like, so you're joining it with me. Riding completely blind at high elevation in the mountains alone, you would think the heavy duty Fox suspension would be the first pick, right? That's why I took it. So the demands of your suspension on regular normal trail riding isn't very big. This style of all mountain riding, very slow through the woods, isn't super critical to have a burly suspension type. Exploring unknown mountains is absolutely epic, but it's a really boring video. Fox mission completed, no complaints on the Fox suspension, but it's time to switch out to RockShock and let's talk about investment. So a deep dive tells me that both the suspensions are about 300 bucks for a full service on the fork. Both shocks are about 250 to service, depending on how many parts you need. A quick look at the market will tell you that Fox seems to hold its value quite a bit better, especially when it gets old. The free market always has good reason for things holding value. So this is a Gen 1 Lyric and it's leaking out of the damper. So I called the shop and they told me, sorry bud, RockShock does not support service on five-year-old products. And I was like, what? And he goes, yeah, dude, you need to buy a Fox because they service their stuff for 10 to 12 years. Now the Otter isn't one to accept no for an answer. So I found Charger 2 Rebuild Damper Kits right here on eBay. That explains why Fox suspension is always worth more money. And is RockShox suspension like a Kia? You throw it away in five years? Let me know what you think. We be dropping on RockShox. Setting out on the Yari Ultimate for clarification, it's an older Yari with a Charger 2.1 damper in the same Super Deluxe as before. The Yari only weighs one ounce more than a first generation Lyric. A few thousand feet of climbing on the RockShock Yari Ultimate, I was really enjoying it. This smaller chassis really excels at slow speed riding. Way more nimble on the Yari. Massive climb days, 5,000 feet or more, every ounce of energy counts, even if you're on an e-bike, motorcycle, or road bike. As far as the Super Deluxe on the back of the bike, I have absolutely nothing good to say. It has zero small bump sensitivity and it's an underwhelming shock. The aftermarket Super Deluxe may be the worst value proposition in mountain biking. So all aftermarket Super Deluxes come with the LL tune, which is complete trash like I just told you. Then you need to spend two or three hundred dollars servicing it to put the correct tune in it to make your mediocre shock ride maybe slightly above average. And then you can add another hundred dollars possibly to get the right air can. And then the air can's not available. I had to order one from Ukraine of all places. 1700 foot descent. Having already completed this descent on the Fox suspension, it's time to compare it to RockShock. Yes, the Yari was better at climbing, but is it a better all mountain suspension? Let's find out. Very uneventful downhill line. It kind of meanders down the valley and it's slower speed, unmaintained trail, characteristic of backcountry riding. Slow speed, technical descending was definitely favoring the RockShock Yari Ultimate. Problem with RockShock, old Lyric, new Lyric, they're just very harsh on the body. Extreme arm pump. The old Lyric or Yari Ultimate is a better all around fork, but the new Lyric is undeniably the best jumping fork ever made. The Swiss Army Knife aspect of the Fox 36 is undeniably the king of all mountain. A rider can expect a more plush ride and better experience overall. The 36 Rhythm only lacks mid-stroke support of its more expensive counterpart. 
the riding characteristics of the Fox Float X, it has very fast response to rider input, and it's very plush. It defines all mountain suspension. The Float X is the most standout piece of suspension in this entire video. Straight out of the box, great investment. But you gotta watch this video here to get the full picture of these two brands.